afternoon everyone. So we're back. Uh, we've had a little break. We've been doing a few things around the lodge. But finally we're getting to go out on another drive this afternoon. So let's see what we can find. Oh, super excited. Yeah. Extremely fortunate. We got a really really nice big herd of uh, buffaloes here. And this is what we would call a breeding herd of buffalo. Um, you'll notice that it's kind of mixed between bulls and cows. Um, the bulls you'll notice have quite a lot of the bigger head as we've discussed before and what we call the boss and then the females have got them a lot lot smaller which we actually haven't really seen yet. You'll notice now we have a one of the bulls um, he's actually having a really, really good scratch. Um, you'll notice that this is actually a rubbing post. It's a tree that many different animals, not just buffaloes, have actually come across and used. Um, it's extremely, extremely smooth. I um, mean, he's just having a good scratch, trying to get that little bit of parasites that might be irritating him somewhere he can't just sort of get to. Okay, this is really cool. So we stopped just now, we saw some dwarf mongoose and Nick actually pointed out there's a black mamba who's actually hunting. So dwarf mongoose, quite commonly, they make their dens in these old termite mounds. They like to use the, the tunnels and things that have been pre-made by the termites. Um, and this black mamba, you can see there, it's ducking its head down into the tunnel and it's tasting the air with its tongue so that tongue it flicks it out and that that fork on the end will actually detect the direction of the scent and it will take that those those scent particles right to the vomeronasal organ um, and it will tell the snake in which direction its prey is um, so he's just hunting for for something down in those tunnels this is Incredible, it's the first time I've seen this. It looks like they're, they're onto him and this, this mamba might be out of luck today. After having spent some time with the with the giraffe and the sun setting really really picturesque we were very fortunate to hear some lions calling in in the distance um, we've headed into a slightly different position now and we've just stopped to see if we can actually wait they, they are calling in the distance again and we're not actually too far let's see if we can pick them up found them so it took a little bit of uh, jiggering around uh, and listening but we finally found them and they're just here they look like they're resting um, we've got both males so if you guys have been paying attention to our Instagram and Facebook uh, we've now named these big boys and they're called Socha and Hosi and we've got at least five females so it looks like the whole river pride and all seven cubs. Now, some of the cubs, is the three youngest ones, are still very small, so we're not shining our light on them. Um, and you guys can't see them at night, uh, but those older ones, they're almost a year old, um, they're looking very healthy and very cute. They just moved off a little bit, and we're sort of keeping up with them. The one male has, has lied down, which you can see. 
and typically the other male will, will actually come and sort of follow his, his partner and we can see him coming out in the, in the distance um, and he might even just sort of give the other one a bit of, bit of love he will drop his head well, there we go, he, he is giving him a bit of love that is, is quite nice to, to see So, oh, the calling we had earlier has just got the whole pride together. As M said, we've got all the, the whole river pride together. Um, and this is the time of evening that they typically are starting to get a bit more mobile. Um, as we've seen the two boys sort of giving each other a bit of love and now the whole sort of pride moving down the road. And who knows maybe where they lead to this evening. Maybe they're out on the patrol or out on the hunt. Let's go have a look. Okay, well, we did follow those lines for a little bit longer and they've ducked into some thick stuff just here. Um, it's not a great visual um, and they're, they're just lying down in there, as goes with lions, they're up and down a lot to start with. Uh, so I think we'll head home, but what an amazing, uh, what an amazing afternoon drive. I think it was really great to get back out here. Yeah, 100%, especially after all the time we've been in camp doing some few things, I think it was a extremely eventful afternoon and evening awesome and i hope you guys enjoyed it too we'll see you again soon bye bye